You're listening to KPFT Houston. We are Pacifica Network, 90.1 on the dial. If you're down in Galveston, you can always find us at 89.5. Our friends up in the East Texas Piney Woods area, 91.9. It is time for Songwriter Studio. I am your host, Tom Tranchilla, along with my old co-host who's in the studio this afternoon, Mr. Tim Pagel. Tim, thank you so much. You made it in. Uh, you're joining us. It's been a while. Yeah, but I have to take issue with that old... <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it this way, long-time co-host. There you Tim go, Pagel. there you go. I'm glad to be back, despite the high temperatures in good old Houston, Texas. It's good it to be It is summertime. Here. It's summer. It feels like summertime, and we're still officially in spring. And Tim, you spend a lot of time in Asheville, and the weather there this time of year is just stunning. Yeah, beautiful. It's, it's nice to be in cooler climes, that's for sure. Tim, we are uh, in Fun Drive. We're going to get to that later, but I want to introduce this afternoon's guest, Andrew Salgado. I got the CD in the mail. I guess John in Houston turned on Doris to our show and uh, got us a copy of the brand new album, which is excellent, by the way. This is Andrew Salgado's second or third record? Third and record. Third record. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, it is entitled... Autumn Dawn, welcome to the show, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I reviewed the album more than once. It's okay. very good. We're going to hear uh, as many tracks as we can in the next 58 minutes here on Songwriter Studio. And uh, I would like to introduce the folks you brought with you in sure. the studio today. Doris G., why don't you introduce Doris and what's your relationship with Doris? She's my publisher and label, so that would be my boss. <laughs> and Doris, thanks. Welcome to the Songwriter Studio. Thank you, Tom, for having us. Really appreciate it. It's a lovely studio, and we're so happy that you like the album. Oh, we love the album, and yes, this is Lloyd's studio. He's been generous enough to open up his doors for us to keep this show on the air for the past year, and uh, he had mentioned before the show, Lloyd Daniel, thank you so much. It's been one full year, 52 episodes. We appreciate all you've done. <laughs> And also, you brought Ron in to shoot photos today. I did. I did. That's why I have to stand up and have good posture and make sure I don't look bad. Welcome to the studios. Ron, you've been here before. Thank you. Yes. It's been great. We love it here at Songbrush Studios. Let's get back to the reason we're here, the brand new album, Autumn Dawn, Andrew Salgado, and explain the subtitle of the record, 86 Volume 2. Yeah, well, there was an 86 Volume 1, and I just wanted a number that was really simple for people to remember. So I was born 8886, I just went with 86, and then we found out that 86, it means something to kind of like get rid of something. That wasn't the intention. <laughs> so I've spent like two years explaining to people, I'm not trying to 86 anything. It was just a birthday. <laughs> it's clever. I, I had took a little thinking on my part, so I'm glad you've clarified ahead <laughs> of time here. I've heard it for two and a half years. <laughs> You recorded the album at Kiwi Audio up in Illinois. Tell the listening audience a little bit about the studio. Studio is fantastic. It's hidden. Like, even I didn't know about it until somebody told me, and it's right next to a soy farm. So it's really relaxing. Like, you step outside, and there's just acres and acres of farm, and nobody would really bother you. And we got, a, we got an insane offer to, to use it without anybody knocking on the door. So we got to be there all day long, and we got to do whatever we wanted to do and make the music we wanted to make. We could be there till 2 in the morning. We could we could leave at 10 o'clock. We could get there at 8. We could you know, get there later, sleep in, whatever we wanted to do, and it really created a great environment to make music. Sounds great, and actually the recording quality of this new release is superb. Thank you. We have got a lot to talk about, and we are limited to 58 minutes, and I want to jump right <laughs> into the record right now. Awesome. We've got track number one queued up, Lipstick Stains on my T-shirt. This is a <laughs> rockin' country tune. Why don't you uh, let the listening audience know a little bit about this song? Yeah, I saw a T-shirt that had a stain on it, and I was like, oh, it looks like a lipstick stain. And I just thought, you know, no one's ever written a good lipstick stain song. It's always about a guy cheating. And so I said, well, what if it was about a girl that wanted to just claim her man in a just good way, and a guy that wanted to kind of carry it, you know, kind of like a wedding ring, kind of carry it and be proud that he was with this person. Let's jump into that track right now. Engineered and recorded by Brett Aaron Hammond. Let's listen to Lipstick Stains on my t-shirt. This is Brand New Music by Andrew Salgado. I got your lipstick stains on my t-shirt. 
t-shirt, babe Such a good reminder that I'm yours always And I love the way you claim me And you tell the whole wide world That your lipstick stains are on my t-shirt, babe You can always have me anytime you want That's why you can't help it when I'm gone too long I need your lipstick stains on my t-shirt, babe your lipstick stains on my t-shirt, babe T-shirt from You can always have me Anytime you want And that's why we can't help it when Lipstick stains on my t-shirt. Brand new music. Andrew Salgado off the new album, Autumn Dawn. This is volume two. <laughs> Great song, Andrew. Rockin' country tune, uh, contemporary sound. Thank Easily you. be a hit on the radio. Very, <laughs> very good. And uh, Doris, you wanted to talk uh, a little bit about the Kiwi Audio Studios. Yeah, it was really great. I want to really thank the owner of the studio, uh, Brad Showalter. Um, he's worked with us a long time, and uh, he actually, because it was pandemic times, obviously it was much harder with all of the stuff you had to do to record in a studio. And he was wonderful in allowing us to do a lockout of it and keep it clean and keep it available yeah. 24 hours so we could use it for an extended time. It was about a month. Um, and so I really want to, again, thank him yeah. for that. took that. some effort on his part, for a sure. It really Ab did. Absolutely, and keep everything in working order and good, so it was great. Yep. I mean, all our folks were great. Brett Aaron Hammond, mm -hmm. who uh, was the, the main engineer on most of the things, but uh, Brad's expertise also helped us a lot. Very good. Super high-quality recording. Great. My Thank compliments. You. It sounds like anything out of any of the major studios around the country. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, let's talk a little bit about your Pepsi Southern Original and sure. Pepsi Gulf Coast Jam winner. Sure. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, that was in 2013. And um, it was funny. My dad had sent a, a really crappy demo <laughs> to like enter into the contest. And then all of a sudden it got me to the semifinals. And I, I found myself driving. I was in Chicago at that time, driving from Chicago all the way to Alabama. Auburn and then performing for the semifinals and then driving all the way back right after the show and and then getting a call like the next week like we want you to compete in the finals you got to come to Panama City Beach and then I did and I won and, and then all of a sudden I was on the same stage with Toby Keith opening and and it just kind of opened up a lot of things uh, there was still a tremendous amount of hard work that kind of had to follow and still has to follow today but it really 
it really gave me a good step on things. And Randy and his team, Pepsi and everybody else was just fantastic. That's wonderful. Matter of fact, I want to get into some of your co-writes. Sure. But before we do that, we've got track number two queued up right now. Maybe tonight. This is a great acoustic bass track. Thank you. I'll tell the listening audience a little bit about this. There's three stages of this album. One is coming off of a breakup. A lot of the songs fit in there. And then finding new love and then kind of just loving yourself. And so this song definitely fit right after I had a, a very massive breakup and I was trying to get back out there, just like the song says, and I was like, well, maybe maybe I will go with my friends. Maybe I'll go to a bar. Maybe I will talk to somebody else. Maybe I'll even kiss her. Or maybe I won't do anything, <laughs> right? Maybe tonight, maybe There's not. There's options, right? Yeah, lots of options. Andrew, uh, one of the things we talked about before the show was the fact that you made a conscious effort to break up the tempos, the styles, mm -hmm. even though this is all sort of country-based. Right. It's not uh, pigeonholed. You're really breaking it up. I like the use of the acoustic sounds and then Thank back you. to the electric and, Thank and bringing in the different tempos. And this is what makes the album very pleasing to the ear, which we find in reviewing a lot of these albums just isn't the case in most. So my compliments on that. You did a Thank great you. job of mixing up the tempos. Yeah, I wanted something that didn't sound similar. I wanted it to be like a guy changing clothes. Same guy, same honest truth, and every song, a different shirt, different shirt different shirt so so there was synergy in everything but it was something you could listen to that continued to give you a different flavor agreed and you did a superb job of it from the brand new album autumn dawn this is maybe tonight brand new music andrew salgado Never really thought I'd pick up where I left off Writing songs for someone else to hear But life is long and sometimes we gotta move on Our plans are never really straight and clear Cause I'm so unsure of what I should do here Maybe I'm just supposed to live my life Maybe it's just part of learning who you are Maybe I should follow it Maybe there's no cause Just the way it was Sometimes there's no explaining it So maybe tonight I'll hit that bar Or take a drive in my car Maybe I'll go on on that date With that girl from the lake Maybe I'll lean in for a kiss Maybe I'll tell her all of this Maybe it won't turn out so bad and I'll find something that lasts Or maybe I'll stop hurting Thinking about the past To give up this fight Maybe tonight Never really thought I'd be doing this sort of call Telling everybody that we're through the shock and all has left me feeling small There's nothing else that I can do Cause I'm so unsure of what I should do here Maybe I'm just supposed to live my life Maybe it's just part of learning who you are And maybe I should follow Just the way it was Sometimes there's no explaining it So maybe tonight I'll hit that bar Or take a drive in my car Maybe I'll go out on that date With that girl from the lake Maybe I'll lean in for a kiss Maybe I'll tell her all of this Maybe it won't turn out so bad And I'll find something that lasts Maybe I'll stop hurting Thinking about the past Give up this fight Maybe tonight Maybe it's just part of 
learning who you are And maybe I should follow it Maybe there's no cause Just the way it was Sometimes there's no explaining it So maybe tonight I'll hit that bar Or take a drive in my car Maybe I'll go out on that date With that girl from the lake Maybe I'll lean in for a kiss Maybe I'll tell her all of this Maybe it won't turn out so bad And I'll find something that lasts Maybe I'll stop hurting Thinking about the past Give up this fight Maybe tonight Andrew Salgado, brand new music, Maybe Tonight, off the Autumn Dawn album. What a great song, good groove, nice and smooth, excellent lyrics. I like the way you moved your vocals around, too. Just very, very well organized, well written. Thank you. My compliments. Track number two off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn. Well, most of you know that listen to KPFT on a regular basis. We are 100% listener-sponsored and uh, funded. And like many of the public media stations, both radio and television, we're struggling like everybody else. We've got the online services and Pandora and everybody else that we compete against. We depend on you, the listener, to keep this radio station alive. We've been on the air 52 years, and our show, Songwriter Studio, been on the air. We are just shy of our 15th anniversary, and Tim, you've been with me much, much of the ride and you know better than anyone having been involved with this radio station for nearly 20 years, various shows of, uh, of the importance of keeping Songwriter Studio and KPFT on the air. Absolutely, Tom. And I predated you by a number of years at, at KPFT, and I've been a listener and active volunteer for probably a couple of decades now. And KPFT is a Houston institution, and there's really nothing like it. You can't compare it with any of the online services today, Spotify or Pandora, or even the public radio stations. KPFT is unique in, in what we do. It's it's not only listener-supported, but it's volunteer-driven. Nobody uh, gets paid around here. There's maybe one or two, or, or there's just a handful of paid staff, but, you know, uh, you do it as a labor of love, I'm not the host, but I, I do it as well for a labor of love because without KPFT, so it's just kind of a homogenation of, of the media. It's just like all the other radio stations, and KPFT is unique in that way. But we do, uh, we do have to count on your support to do that. And I'm, I'm looking at this uh, interesting uh, picture up on the wall that says free, and I do not know uh, the reason uh, or the history behind it. Uh, maybe Lloyd will illuminate after the program but what i'm thinking about is nothing is free in life everything costs something we pay and if you don't think that you're paying when you listen to commercial radio try sitting through 10 or 15 minutes of every hour what ads being bombarded to buy this and buy that and at kpft sure uh, we ask you to support you know unfortunately the times now it's it's a little too frequent uh, this is, uh, it seems like we're in perpetual pledge drive, but, uh, you know, we do count on you to keep the lights on, pay the bills. They run a very lean operation at KPFT. The number, 713-526-5738. I'll repeat that in case you were just grabbing a pencil. 713 713-526-5738. Or go to kpft.org, hit that tip jar, and make sure that money comes to Songwriter Studio. We'd like to keep this show on the air for and, another and 15 And especially years. for you people that have the uh, ability to listen online, that you might be in Nashville or Chicago. I know when I'm in, uh, in out of state, uh, I listen online. It's very simple. You can go up there and, and hit the tip jar. And to be t full disclosure here, uh, there's a couple of other radio stations, public radio stations that I support. Same reason as KPFT. It's very unique in what they do. You know, it's it's a great time that we live in today when you can actually go to the various platforms 
and pick the content that you want to listen to. But once again, it's not free. One more time, that telephone number is 713-526-5738. Our guest this afternoon, Andrew Salgado. We're playing songs off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn. Excellent recording. This has a little bit of everything, mostly country bass, a little bit of rock and roll, acoustic, uh, even touching on jazz. You use a lot of jazz <laughs> chords in your songs. I really you that. appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell us about track number three off the brand new record, Andrew, Why Didn't I Call You? Yeah, this fits in the, in the same lane when I was going through a really bad breakup. I literally found myself calling everybody. I had never really done that before. Where I, where I call my parents and I call my friends and I call my friends friends and it's like anyone who would listen like this is what happened like I need help like what should I do like how do I get through this I, I'm really low all the other stuff but the one person I didn't call was that person and so I found myself just picking up a guitar which is a big thing that I do for you know for my own therapy and I just wrote why didn't I call you that's as simple as it was. Andrew, after reviewing this song a couple of times, I thought to myself, this could be a hit on country radio. I know you don't consider yourself a pure country <clears throat> artist, but some of these songs lean. Yeah. And this definitely could lean toward a hit on country radio. This is an excellent track. Thank very you. Very well arranged, written, Thank you. played. Thank this you. This is off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn, Andrew Salgado. Let's listen to Why Didn't I Call You. <laughs> Didn't even want to leave the house Barely know her, but I promised myself Can't remember who I was before You're like a shadow that follows me It seems endlessly Cause everyone says time will help you see the light But every time she moves I see you in her eyes Everyone says faith will help you through the pain But everything she says reminds me of my promises What did I call you? When I needed your help What did I call you? On days I hated myself What did I call you? Just to wish you the best What did I call you? Cause I sure called everybody else Can't believe I'm even in this bar Talking and drinking with a stranger now Not even speaking but I nod my head Cause I'm just wishing you were here instead You never leave my bed Cause everyone says time will help you see the light But every time she moves I see you in her eyes Everyone says faith will help you through the pain But everything she says reminds me of my promises What did I call you? When I needed your help What did I call you? On days I hated myself What did I call you? Just to wish you the best What did I call you? Cause I sure called everybody else
Andrew Salgado, Why Didn't I Call? Great new song. Again, you brought in the acoustic guitars. You're playing Thank you. almost all the instruments, <laughs> not only on this track, but most of the record. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that, as well as producing. Me and my engineer really just kind of played as much as we could, and whoever could execute the best took it. So I played the banjo, he played the banjo, I played acoustic guitar, he played acoustic guitar, and whoever was able to execute the exact idea that I wanted, we just went with. You brought Doris in here for some percussion. Let's hear about that. <laughs> she wanted to play a tambourine, but we ended up having the sampler because she couldn't play in time. And so and so we said, just play it like as hard as you can, and then and then we'll go back and sample it, and we'll edit it in. There you go, and it worked, and I love your banjo playing. Not only Thank in you. this track, but numerous tracks throughout the album yeah. playing banjo. So. I, you know what was funny about that? Because we flew in our engineer, Brett's uh, from London, and... <laughs> he said the most American thing that, that I've ever heard someone say, because I said, man, I wish we had a banjo, but I can't play the four-string banjo. But if we could get a six-string banjo, you know, maybe next record. And he said, Andrew, we're in America. You could just go down the street and buy a banjo right now. Like, like go, and, <laughs> go and just buy it. So I called Doris on Monday and said, hey, can we buy a six-string banjo so that I could play it in the studio? And three hours later, I'm holding a six-string banjo that we had purchased. I tuned it up. We, we, we set it up, too, to make sure it was in, in, uh, in tune. And I went and just started playing it. <laughs> That's terrific. And I've played some of the six-strings banjos yeah. myself, and they're, they're wonderful. And they they're sound amazing. so realistic. But they're amazing. Yeah, they are. And it's great for a fill in a song, like in, yeah. in this case, where you need the tone of a banjo, yeah. not necessarily a five-string. Right. It really, it really added what I was looking for. It was that missing piece on this album, which was fantastic. If you're just tuning in, Andrew Salgado's in the studio. We are reviewing songs off the Autumn Dawn album, 86 Volume 2. And uh, it's a great record. We've got all kinds of tempos and really mixture of instruments, vocals, and arrangements. We've got track number four, Grace, queued up right now. We are asking you, if you like what we do here at Songwriter's <laughs> Studio, please pick up that phone and dial 713-526-5738 or go to kpft.org throw a tip towards songwriter studio again this is andrew salgado the name of the new album autumn dawn this is grace Grace, if it's all alright, can I hold you tight, maybe through the night? Grace, it's been a hard six months, I almost turned on love until you showed up. So patient and kind, your smile has a way of taking me higher. So amazing, amazing Grace, you're an answered prayer From who knows where, thank God you're here Grace, you're teaching me new things I gotta open up and just give love So patient and kind, your smile has a way of taking me higher and higher. My Savior, my life, the way you lift me up, yeah, it's amazing, amazing.
Can I hold you tight Maybe through the night Andrew Salgado, brand new music, Grace, the name of the new album. Autumn Dawn, great song, like all the songs on this record. Andrew, where do they go if they want to order a copy of this or your other album? Streaming, um, they can go to andrewsalgado.net and they can get all three albums at one time. Now we've got a hard copy here in the studio, mm-hmm. which we usually require for numerous reasons. But do you carry the hard copies to your shows? Can they get an we autographed do. hard yeah. copy? Yeah, we even have a vinyl for this last album. Very and, and good. Very I think good. it's already in like eight or nine stores already. Excellent. So, Excellent. And there's talk of more, which is just, it's, it's so weird to go to a vinyl store and see your vinyl in there next to like real people and it's like it's like do you have another section that you can put like mine in <laughs> is there another section <laughs> <laughs> well as uh, most of the especially the audio nuts like myself mm-hmm. i've still got about 600 of my old vinyl lps That's awesome. that i will not sell uh, but i still occasionally listen to them a few years ago <clears throat> i bought a brand new turntable and the quality it's 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 unreal it's analog and as long as you keep the records yeah. grooves clean the quality of the uh, sound playback is just it's unbeatable it is and it's sad that many people don't know that but i think a lot of people are really figuring it out and that's why it's on the rise that's why it's on the rise yeah if you're just joining us, Andrew Salgado is our guest on Songwriter Studio. And one more reminder, we are in Pledge Drive. We've got Tim in the studios. I know we've got a whole list of gifts if the folks dial 713-526-5738. What can they get if they call in, talk to the operators, Tim? At a low $90 donation, that's just $7.50 a month. It includes the uh, KPFT Studio Session 3D C set. Includes 21, a whopping 21.7 hours of 57 in studio interviews and performances. At the $240 pledge, there's a Juneteenth Blues Festival 10 CD set or thumb drive. $60 will get you to 48th birthday party concert flash drive. And of course, I, I don't have a, the amount on here. I think it's the minimum amount for the KPFT t shirts. $90, I believe those yeah, are. $90. I think it's still $90. I thought it was $200. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's $90. But anyway, $35 makes you a voting member here at KPFT. It so does. it does. And that's, you know, $35. Uh, gosh. <laughs> That's nothing. Spend you that know. on a few uh, Starbucks coffees. So Yeah, <laughs> you know, you can easily spend $60 uh, a month at a place like that. We're going back to the uh, artist uh, on Songwriter Studio this afternoon, Andrew Salgado. Andrew, we've got track number five queued up right now, I Just Want to Dance. <laughs> Why don't you tell the listening audience a little bit about this track? This has a superb groove to it. Thank It'd be you. great for dancing or whatever. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this song. It's actually my parents' story. They were both uh, professional dancers, and my mom wanted nothing to do with my dad, and my dad wanted everything to do with my mom, and she just kind of made him work extremely hard. And so at first it was just, I just want to dance with you. Literally, I just want to dance with you. And it was really fun to produce this track because I got to build that beat and kind of build everything else around it when I wrote the song, and I was, I was just really happy with how it came out. Excellent groove, and it varies some from the other tracks off mm-hmm. the record, which I had mentioned earlier. Yeah. I really like about the album, the various tempos, and it keeps the listening audience interested. Let's listen to this off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn. This is Andrew Salgado. I just want to dance. Every guy in here is looking for the same thing Red lipstick and lonely eyes But when I look at you I see something when you move Your mind ain't thinking about tonight And I don't want to take you home And I definitely don't want to drink alone And you look like and I don't want to take this far And baby, I promise I won't mess with your heart I just want to dance with you I just want to dance 
just wanna dance with you. We can start slow, or we can go fast. Do you two step, or do you jive? And if I have to teach you, I don't mind at all tonight. We got hours of time. And I don't wanna take you home, and I definitely don't wanna drink alone. And you look like you could use a friend. And I don't wanna take this far, and baby, I promise I won't mess with your heart. I just wanna dance with you. I just wanna dance with you. And I don't wanna take you home, and I definitely. And baby, I promise I won't mess with your heart. I just wanna dance with you. I just wanna dance with you. I just want to dance. Brand new music, Andrew Salgado. Great lead work there from <laughs> Brett Aaron Hammond. Uh, you were just explaining to me during yeah. that song that the uh, Wawa was sort of an afterthought. Go ahead. Explain it that. was. He didn't have the effect on when he was playing the lead, and so I, I thought it was just horrible. I didn't have the heart to tell him that because I, I just I, I really did fall in love with working with him. So I left the room going, okay, let, let me give him some time so he can think of something better because that ain't it. And then when I walked back in, he put the effect on. And I was like, oh, my God, it's amazing. And I, I just I kept listening to it and listening to it. And that's exactly what it needed. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about your co-writes. Uh, sure. The Brian Wilson, of course, Mr. Beach Boy himself, as well as Casey Musgraves. Yeah. How did this happen? How did you uh, hook up with the legendary Brian Wilson? It was all the engineer, Frank Papalardo. He had known me. We had worked on a couple things together. And... It just was like, do you have something for this? And then it went to another stage, and it went to another stage, and then all of a sudden, it was on an album. And one of the and one of the coolest things was I was in the studio making absolutely everything with Jim Moose Brown, and he wrote Five O'clock Somewhere. And I had just gotten like a, a message or something that the album was out and that it was track eight, and I was like, can we listen to it like in the studio like right now? Like I haven't heard the final version and all this other stuff. And so we listened to it, and Moose put his arm on me and, and, and said, just, you know, remember your first cut and, and, you know, just, you know, continue to be humble. Very good. I like this <clears throat> story. Moving on, the uh, next track, I've made notes on this one. Oh, Breathe. Breath? It's Breathe, yeah. Breathe. Uh, this has very heavy jazz influence. Tell it us does. a little bit about that. Yeah, it has. So the song is written from my anxiety of not thinking I'm enough to, you know, be with somebody. And uh, when I found my fiance now, when we were dating, I remember going, man, she's just really too perfect, you know, and I, I can't really, I, I don't really know if I can compete in this. And, you know, I travel a lot and all this other stuff. And, you know, she was like, you just need to breathe. <laughs> and so that really stuck with me. And when I came up with the song, I really loved the whole aspect of this. I, I don't know what you'd call it, Latin country kind of a thing. There are jazz chords right in it. And it just fit well with that solo that I play on the acoustic guitar. And it just it just built exactly how you hear it. One of the uh, things <clears throat> I noticed reviewing the record, especially the second time, was how you could mix the jazz arrangements into mm -hmm. basically a country theme. Right. And it gives you a tone that's really your own. I yeah. think that's what sets you apart from yeah. many of the country albums we receive here at Thank Songwriter you. Studio. Let's listen to this great jazz influence track right here off the brand new album autumn dawn andrew salgado breathe <laughs> Thank you. 
No way to explain it It's like I'm suffocating on her love So good I can't take it Makes me want to pack up and run Everything she does is so perfect Sometimes it makes me think That I'm not worth it But I just gotta breathe Relax, take a step back Open up my eyes and see And I just gotta breathe Let go, this ain't the past I just gotta let things be So when I get choked up I just gotta breathe Yeah, I just gotta breathe It's quiet desperation Lying to myself in pain How did she even notice? Maybe it's written all over my face Everything she does is so perfect Sometimes it makes me think That I'm not worth it But I just gotta breathe Relax, take a step back Open up my eyes and see That I just gotta breathe Let go, this ain't the past I just gotta let things be So when I get choked up Gotta breathe. She makes my heart beat fast when she's walking away, and my hands still shake when she's looking at me. She makes my heart beat fast when she's walking away, and my hands still shake when she's looking at me. She makes my heart beat fast when she's walking away, and my hands still shake when she's looking at me. She makes my heart beat fast when she's walking away, and my hands still shake. My heart beat fast when she's walking away And my hands still shake when she's looking at me She makes my heart beat fast when she's walking away And my hands still shake when she's looking at me I just gotta breathe So when I get choked up I just gotta Andrew Salgado, brand new music off the Autumn Dawn release. Breathe. Little Latin jazz influence. <laughs> Great acoustic guitar, by the way. Thank was you. that a uh, classical guitar? That was a uh, a Martin guitar, and it was one take all the way through. Really? Yeah, and I and I just wanted to do it to get ideas. And I went back in, and Brett said, that was it. I said, no, 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 I need to listen back to it. That's not it. I'm just playing in the spaces so that I can figure out what I really want to do. And he's like, no, you hit the timing in the beginning because I wanted to have it come in before the song started, which is exactly what you hear. And then we just kept it. And I remember listening back going, okay, like, you know, he's probably just being nice and, you know, saying nice things so that my ego stays high and we finish this album. And I remember listening to it going, okay, well, as soon as I hear something I don't like, we'll stop. And then the whole song played, and I said, "Well, you know, play it again." I must have clearly missed something, and to just play the, you know, the the acoustic guitar so I can listen to it. But it was all good. That's incredible. I, I've been <clears throat> spent enough time in the studio to know. Usually, <laughs> it takes four. Well, five, Well, not every six song takes. was like that. Yeah, I have I have other songs where I did I did hours of guitar solo stuff to no, you did try and get what I wanted. Spectacular job of nailing that, especially first take. Let's talk a little bit about some of the folks you've opened up for: Carrie Underwood, Toby Keith, who you'd mentioned earlier, yeah, and one of my uh, all-time favorite country artists, Clint Black. Ah, uh, and he tell was, us he a was, little bit about that. Well, I mean, anytime you get to open, it's unbelievably awesome. It's, it's probably one of the highest honors, right? And Clint was my best story because I got to open, I did like, I think like a 30 or 40 minute set and it was just me, wasn't another opener besides me. And at the end of the night, Clint finished his show. I watched his entire show from the side of the stage. It was the most memorable thing I've ever had. And at the end, he came up to me and said, you were the best opener I've had. And he paused and my heart like just started to like explode. And he said, 
today. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, you know, I just started cracking up and, and I watched him have the entire audience. He did an acoustic set and I hadn't done acoustic sets prior to that show. And I do them in every show now. And he just had the whole audience on every story, every joke, everything he was saying, you could hear a pin drop. And I remember going, no matter how big your fan base gets, if you can do that, you're doing okay. Yes, he's quite an artist. I love his songwriting, his voice, his guitar playing, everything is just yeah. really, really professional. If you're just tuning in, Andrew Salgado is our guest on Songwriter Studio, previewing songs off the brand new release, Autumn Dawn. And I want to talk a little bit about Help Me. This is a great song, <laughs> a real good upbeat groove. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this track. I wrote Help Me in like 2019, and I didn't know like where like where it should fit, how you know how how we should produce it or anything like that. And I remember just taking that acoustic guitar. It has a hammer on on the on the C minor, which I know you know what that is. And I remember going like, oh man, we should just let's just follow this completely. Let's take this idea, and, and you know, for me, you know, a beautiful woman can always probably get me to do anything, right? So like, help me not fall down the same trap that I've fallen down numerous times. And I remember we just kind of went with it, and we really followed that guitar and that hammer-on from the drums to the bass to the electric guitar. Everything just followed one kind of core thing. Excellent. Let's listen to that track right now off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn, Andrew Salgado. This is Help Me. <laughs> Walking in, caught my attention From the way she looked to the way she spoke and her language She's not from around here You can just tell from what she's wearing I need some resistance Before I fall into her system She's a user of some kind I can still see her trail left behind Help me, help me please Dancing, she's looking for a gold mine, and all I have is this heart of mine. Help me, help me, please. I think I got lost in her eyes and her devilish smile. Help me, help me, please. I don't want to lose myself to the heat of the night. Somebody. even talking to me what she really thinks but i need a step away before i get too deep and i lose myself again oh yeah so help me help me please i think i got lost in her eyes and a devilish smile help me help me please i don't want to lose myself to the heat of the night somebody needs a help me help me Help Me, brand new music. Andrew Salgado has been our guest on Songwriter Studio this afternoon, and uh, we've got a lot to cover, and we're just about out of time. <laughs> Andrew, uh, tell the listening audience briefly your work with autism. 
Yeah, Autism Speaks um, was the first charity that I really kind of helped. And it was very simple because a guy was talking with me. And I remember saying, as soon as I make a bunch of money, I'm going to help so many charities and I'm going to donate. I'm going to be that guy. And he said, well, why do you have to wait? Just start doing stuff now. And, and he said, just ask yourself, what can you do? And if you keep asking that, you'll find out that you can volunteer, you can help here, you can donate your CDs, you can play for free. And I did it for like, I think about eight years with Autism Speaks and then helping a bunch of other charities after that as well. Good for you. Thank you so much for what you do. The name of their new album, Autumn Dawn 86, Volume 2. Andrew Salgado's been our guest. And uh, why don't you let the listening audience know one more time how sure. they order your merchandise, how they can get on your mailing list, etc. Yeah. AndrewSalgado.net. They can follow on Facebook, Instagram at Andrew Salgado, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, any of those things. Well, thank you so much, your music. The new album is excellent. I highly recommend it. One more plug for the KPFT Spring Drive. Please pick up that phone and dial 713 713- 526-5738. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you for having me. And uh, Lloyd, thank you. As every week you come in here, you volunteer your time, you volunteer your studio, you do a bang-up job. We love you for everything you do. We truly cannot do this show without you. Tim, thanks for joining us. It's been a while. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Give. Please. 713 526 Five, seven, three, no eight. amount is too small. <laughs> That's right. This is Tom Tranchilla asking you to join in next week for Songwriters Studio. We're going to go out with this last track, Learning How to Forget. This is a great slow love song off the brand new album, Autumn Dawn. This is Andrew Salgado. Please stick around. Up next, Irish Airs, followed by our friends at the Bluegrass Depot. Tune in. Next week, KPFT Songwriter Studio. Mm -hmm. I start in the morning with an open ended prayer and no regret. I'm closing the story Even though we have a couple chapters left There's no way to practice I just take it day by day Learning how to forget Thought it would be easy But you can't take a memory back I try to deny it But my heart won't let my mind forget The color of your dress Your eyes, your hair The way your lips felt Learning how to forget Learning how to forget Your name, the pain, the memories The days that I thought you'd come back to me Learning how to forget Forget. I start in the morning with an open ended prayer and no regrets. I'm closing the story, even though we have a couple chapters left. Learning how to forget. Learning out.